How's it going, YouTube? Out here again. Some more bow song content. Here with the Mako. Squid Industries Mako. Love this knife. But that is not what today's video is going to be about. Today's video is about the Benchmade 51 and general Benchmade products. It's going to be a little bit more of a rant type of thing. And just kind of overall how I feel about the knife. Should you buy it? Short answer is probably not. You have a lot of options if you were to buy something in the $300 range. There's a lot of great flippers you can buy. The Benchmade 51 serves almost as a relic in the Balsan community. The Benchmade 51 has served its purpose, but I think it's incredibly outdated nowadays. Like, there's not really much else it can do that other flippers can't, especially at the price point, which by the way, it's like $350. I think it's like 300. But either way, it's just so expensive for what you're getting. I think it even runs on washers. Like, I don't know, man. The, the specs by itself just don't make sense for its price point. Like, yeah, it has G10 handles, but man, I mean, with the Volt Pro coming out now, you can get G10 at just 140 and like, a great flipper at that with other hardware additionally the benchmade 51 let's see if i got it right here yeah the benchmade 51 unmodded is not a great flipper i'm gonna just tell you that right now i don't like how this thing flips it's way too light the the handles like they're really really close together the handles are also really really short compared to other knives like let me get this Miko out like look at the size comparison it, it might not look that much, but when you're actually flipping it, it feels way shorter than the Mako or any other knife that you might be comfortable flipping. If you want a flipper that would be good for the price, very good for the price, I mean, just get a squid trainer. There's a lot of different types too. And like the Triton V2, that's that might be my recommendation because I've had problems with the Mako itself being really pinchy. You do things like chaplains or whatnot, like like that specific move i get pinched a lot on the mako and also other knives but i never really had that problem with the triton so if you need a good knife and you're looking at the benchmade 51 maybe like modding it or anything like that in this day and age i would suggest just don't do that especially for the price man like this thing is not worth 300 let me just say that um it's really sharp it's one of my sharpest knives out of the box like this thing you can tell by benchmade was not meant to flip this thing was meant to cut and was meant to be with you at all times but if that's not what you plan on doing there's no point in getting this knife i really do believe that a lot of people still might say that like modding it might be worth it which if you were to heavily mod this thing yes i do believe that is true but that it just requires so much work now when there's a lot of better alternatives at a way cheaper price i don't think modding this thing is really a solution for many flippers now Benchmade products in general. This is only one knife of Benchmades. A lot of other Benchmade knives are not great. This is the one that people know because it's it's one of the most popular, to be honest. Um, things like the Benchmade, I think it's the 82 um, and the 51. Those aren't great flippers either. They never really were. Um, the 51, it was basically stainless steel at a high price point like stainless steel should not be as much as those knives were that is just kind of ridiculous and i don't know where all that budget went is it just machining did they have no real good mills to make these i don't know but as a buyer it's just not worth purchasing any type of benchmade product in 2024 now let's get into butterfly knives that are worth purchasing in 2024 what we got right here is the glider arctic 2 this thing oh my gosh it's so worth it the price on this i can't remember off the top of my head so i will put it on the screen right now but basically this knife is really good it's one of the best flippers that i own as well um i mean just listen to that sound listen oh my hands are freezing man i can hardly feel this thing in my fingers but like
if you want a good flipper, get this thing. It's anode handles. It's It has a lot of grip, despite what you might think. And, like, I would watch reviews on these knives, but I wouldn't really understand how it felt. Like, this thing in your hand, it's very blocky. You have a good grip on it. It has good weight, too. If you're slapping your hand against it, it's not going to bruise you. It's just not. There's not enough weight for that. It's kind of optimal, to be honest. And it runs on bushings. It's a durable knife so if you were to drop this a bunch it's not going to break on you glider makes a lot of very nice products the antarctic 2 i'd say is another great great product you can buy also the og4 they're worth the money that's all i have to say they might be a little more expensive like i think the antarctic is around 200 which I'd say get the Arctic 2 before that, to be honest, because it is quite a bit cheaper. But since recording this, it's already getting quite a bit darker. My hands are freezing. I think it's like 30 degrees out right now here in Kentucky. Kentucky. But yeah, if there's any other type of knives you might want to see a review on, just let me know. But uh, yeah, I guess to close, my, my closing statements on the matter is in 2024, today's day and age, there is no need to buy a Benchmade 51 and mod it. There just is no need. If you want to build, okay, Benchmade 51 might still have a place in the community if you specifically want to build your like ideal type of flipper. If the things on the market right now, you've tested them all, you've bought a bunch, you've seen the things that are on the market right now, and it's none of them are your perfect flipper, I think the Benchmade 51 might offer a place to kind of build upon a knife and make it to your liking but also think other knives can do that too that's the problem a lot of knives have like interchangeable weights on the bottom you can change out the blades you can change handles the scales like there's so much customization you can do with a lot of knives out right now and it just doesn't feel like the benchmade 51 is worth it all for that like no i really believe the benchmade 51 is outdated in today's standards but yeah Hope y'all enjoyed my this little rant on the Benchmade 51. Not a lot of flipping. My hands are freezing, man. It doesn't help that I'm touching this <laughs> cold, cold metal. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, eat a slice of pizza. I don't care. But yeah, see ya.